Our topic today is present perfect tense. We are going to check the uses and structure for this tense. The first use for the present perfect is to talk about an action that happened in the past, but the exact time is not mentioned. For example, I have already done that before. A second use for this tense is to talk about an activity that began in the past and continues to the present. Let's check the example. Mary has had her car since September. A very use for the present perfect is to talk about an action that happened in the past and over, but the results are obvious in the present. For example, we have just finished our project. Let's check the grammatical structure for this tense. In the affirmative sentences, we are going to use the auxiliary verb have. But remember that have changed the form with the third person has. Then check the examples that we have here about these subjects. I have studied all day. You have played soccer. We have worked all day. You have washed your clothes. They have danced cumbia. See that we use the verb have as an auxiliary because after it, we have the main verb with ed. This means that it is in past participle. Let's see the other examples. He has done his homework. He has slept all night. He has run in the park all day. For he, she, it, remember that we use has as an auxiliary verb, and then we have done, slept, run as main verb. Remember that in English, we are going to have regular verbs and irregular verbs. The regular verbs add ed to form the past participle, as the same as the simple past. But the irregular verbs change the form. That's why we have don't for the verb do, sleep for the verb sleep, and run for the verb run. Okay, let's continue. We can use contractions in the affirmative sentences in present perfect. We contract the subject with the auxiliary verb. I, you, we, you, they. And for the third person, he is, she is, it's. Then we have to mention or write the past participle of the verb. For negative, remember that we contract the particle not with the auxiliary verb. And then we get, I haven't studied all day. You haven't played soccer. We haven't worked all day. He hasn't done his homework. She hasn't slept all night. It hasn't run in the park all day. For the interrogative, we start these sentences with the auxiliary verb at the beginning. Have I studied all day? Have you played soccer? Have we worked all day? Have you washed your clothes? Have they danced cumbia? Has he done his homework? Has she slept all night? Has it run in the park all day? Remember, we change the position of the auxiliary verb to the beginning. For this tense, have or has. And the short answers that correspond to these kind of questions are, yes, I have, no, I haven't, yes, you have, no, you haven't, yes, we have, no, we haven't. Yes, he has, no, he hasn't, yes, she has, no, she hasn't, yes, it has, no, it hasn't. As I told you before, in the affirmative sentences, we have two kinds of verbs, regular verbs and irregular verbs. 
the regular verbs are going to form the simple past and the past participle in the same way. They are going to add ed. Then we have work, work, work. Dance, dance, dance. Play, play, play. Study, study, study. Then take in count that with, with regular verbs, we add ed. In the irregular verbs, we need to memorize them because they change the form. Let's see these examples. Eat, ate, eaten. Dry, drove, driven. Do, did, don't. See, so, seen. Where we have present, past, past participle. In the present perfect, we use the past participle. The verbs that are in red. Let's see if you understand more or less the structure of this tense. A volunteer to choose the best alternative for number one. Please. Yo, teacher. Yes, please, Vianney. Thank you. Uh, sería, I live, live here all my life. Exactly, live. Okay. Thank you so much, Vianney. Another one for number four. Another volunteer for Vianney, if you want to help us again, it's okay. A or B for number four. Seria, I didn't see her since last year. Let's check. Haven't seen. Remember, we are using the auxiliary verb have or has, then the past participle. Did is for the simple past. Okay, be careful. Then number six. Please, Alcantara. She has not been unemployed since she left school. Yes, has not been. Thank you, Alcantara. Okay, number eight, another volunteer, please. Podría ser um, B. B. Can you read it, Katia, please? I read half the book and will try to finish it at the weekend. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Okay, number 10, please. Another volunteer. A or B? También sería B. No, sería B. How long have you now you heard? Yes, no hair. Yes, Katia, thank you. Number 11, please. A volunteer for number 11. Um, is, have you heard what happened yesterday? Thank you, Emmanuel. Yes, you're right. Hair. Thank you. Okay. Number 13, please. A. A Has she gone on holiday yet? Gone, exactly. Thank you, Katia. 14, please. Sería, the film has started yet? Yes, Vianney, thank you. Hasn't, hasn't started. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, 15. Um, no. 
Fernanda Chica. Fernando Orcatia. Fernando. Eh. Ok. A ver, a ver. She has been ill since uh, Thursday. Exactly, has been. Katia, can you help us with 17, please? Katia, look, someone has left their handbag in the room. Yes, has left. Thank you, Katia. 18. Have you ever been to Rome? Thank you, Emmanuel. Yes, you're right. 19. Seria, I can't get into my house because I lost my keys. Thank you, Vianney. I have lost. Thank you. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, I don't know if you have any question, comment, or suggestion. No? Okay. Thank you so much for your interest, for your attendance, and to be here in this class today. Thanks a lot. Okay, I want to make you a comment. Un comentario rápido. Este, les compartimos por ahí una participación lúdica que ojalá y la consideren para la próxima. Estas eh, actividades lúdicas que nos hace el favor la coordinación de compartir con nosotros o de pedirnos que la compartamos con ustedes, les da un punto extra sobre su calificación. ¿sí? Es decir, si tú en la calificación final sacas 6.5, ¿sí? ahí con esa participación tendrías 7.5, ¿sí? Entonces, mi sugerencia es hacerles la atenta invitación para que a la próxima eh, actividad lúdica que tengamos y que yo les mande por ahí el, el informe en el, en el grupo del WhatsApp, la consideren, ¿no? Por alguna circunstancia, ¿sí? Igual que han mostrado todo ese interés por las clases y el estar aquí presentes, pues ahí dense un, un chancecito para cumplir con con esa actividad que les puede beneficiar, en vez de perjudicar, les puede beneficiar. Pero también quiero aclarar que no afecta su calificación real del curso, ¿eh? Esto nada más es una invitación, ¿ok? Espero que les sea útil. Bye, bye, thank you. Don't forget to write your name and your group, please. Thanks a lot. Les quedo thank muy you, agradecido teacher. por estar aquí. Gracias. Thank you. Cuídense. Thank you. Bye.